Hey everybody, it's Zippy here. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on Doom Buggy Volkswagen speedometers. Starting left over here, I've got a early glass needle style. They're pretty plain and simple. It only has high beam and oil pressure and turns an alternator on the bottom, or generator rather. Uh, coming over here, similar setup, but not the glass needle. This is a 67 unit, and it is more or less identical. Um, right here I've got a 68 unit. It's got the fuel gauge in it now, but still the old style. Um, high beam has been moved to a new location. It's this little light right there. You kind of can't see it, but it's there. And then in the 70s they made them look a little cheesier. They got plastic lens, a whole lot more other, other things going on. But uh, it's essentially the same. This is a unit from a Type 3, I do believe. It also has the oil pressure and stuff down here at the bottom, which essentially you need for your dune buggy. Now, this one, this one's a little different, but on all Beetles, they're more or less exactly the same with this little Bakelite rig down here at the bottom. And uh, the old ones are screwed in, so you can take them out and put fresh, like, gel lenses in to make it, make it all happy and pretty. Um, but I'm going to come over here to the 68 one that we're wiring up into this dash right here. And uh, since it's got a fuel gauge, it'll give us a little extra options because it's the same except for those two wires. Now, I've already gone ahead and screwed in the ground to that spot there. It gives a little strain relief. That's pretty helpful. And I've also plugged in um, the, the coil wire. Uh, this one here comes straight from the ignition switch and it, and it powers everything that's in this little bake light job, which is important for our... our oil pressure sending unit and to fire up our alternator whenever the you know the whenever the unit gets going so you want your alternator to charge properly it's got to get a little bit of juice at the very beginning to, to, to set it in motion so um, in, the easiest way to plug these up is to go ahead and get the bulb mounted on the prong and then all you really got to do now is just like if the dash if this was under the dash it'd be a little easier to to just slap these right in so the, bundled up with the coils the oil pressure and alternator they're already there bundled together so it makes it pretty easy and should be pretty dumb dumb free um, now the the turn indicator which is between the two we don't want getting juice we're given the the flash of juice already it's different different means and we don't want all our turn signals going through a bulb first. It's pretty redundant, and, and when it burns, your whole system goes. So they make an isolated unit like this. Ampi sells it. It's a uh, it's Ampi V600813, and uh, once you've plugged that all up, now I'll, I'll provide a ground with a turn signal lead, so that's easy to do. And once you've got that all plugged up, it's just a matter of jamming it down in the hole as well. Now, coming up to the top where the fuel gauge is, there's two there's two leads for the fuel gauge. Um, one of them is power and it goes to this little fuel buzzer guy right there. That keeps the needle from bouncing around. So um, the long one is going to reach around to the back and we're going to plug that one in the, to the long one. And then the short one uh, goes to the one on the front and that sends a signal to the sending unit at the fish tank, at the fuel tank. <laughs> fish tank. Boom. So now this one's got two light bulbs that light up the speedometer. The old ones only have one in the middle. So I've, uh, if, if I know you, you're working with an older, a newer speedometer, I'll go ahead and give you this double deal. So we just slide one in on one side. Get over here. Slide one in on the other side, and that's the, the lights for the speedometer. Now there's only one left, that's the high beam job, and there's only one slot left, so it goes right there. Bam, and that's how you wire up your Volkswagen speedometer. It's pretty simple if you if you got your ducks in a row, and then you just get up there and twist it right in place. Bam, should lock right in. Now, if for some reason you have an old speedometer like this, and you wanted an upgrade to one that that has a, a fuel sending a sending unit or a fuel gauge in it, um, and you don't have the wiring because it only gave you enough wires for this, um, it's pretty simple. All you really need to do, all you really need to do is to track. Well, I had it here a second ago. Track down one of those little jumpers and uh, and make a make a double jump here, so that not only can you plug the coil wire in there, you can also plug another short wire that's gonna like come off that guy and feed around and plug into the back of that one right there. That way, when you turn your key on, you'll get, be giving juice to the sending unit, the start of it at least. And then all you'll need to do is run a short wire from this post here to your fuel tank, a sending unit. And then just ground the sending unit from a, a, a nearby ground, if you you know. So maybe you have to run two wires to it. But uh, that's basically the breakdown as far as plugging up a Volkswagen speedometer and a dune buggy goes. So there you have it.